Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Live or Die Cast. On today's episode, we will be going through some more old cards. As you can see, I'm watching The Mustang Hunter. And what better else to do than sort through Hot Wheels? So I want to thank everybody who's put in orders. Got some orders going out tomorrow. Thank everybody for putting those in. If you see something tonight you're interested in, be sure and let me know. Tonight we're going to be going through the big three uh, we got some GM, Chevy, Pontiac, Buick, um, some Dodge, and a couple of Fords. So stay tuned for those, and we'll get back into it. I feel like my living room is taken over by Hot Wheels. Stay tuned for the video. If you see anything you're interested in, be sure to leave me a message on uh, Instagram or right here on this channel below. I will leave my email information in the description. And if anyone's interested in anything, please, please reach out to me. Um, like I said, most of these are going between a uh, dollar fifty and five dollars, the highest, and that is, you know, that's the high highest for most of these. So, uh, reach out to me. Uh, buyer pays shipping, and yeah, yeah, stay tuned, and we will go through some castings. All right, we are back. So, first up, I figured I'd start with the Ford castings because there's only two of them here. These are '97 first editions. Number two of 12 cars in the set. This is the Ford F-150. Red enamel. Plastic gray base. Chrome grille. Chrome bumper sitting on the chrome five spokes. It's got the clear glass. Chrome interior. And it says coolest to collect. Got another one. Seems to be the same color, same base, chrome grille, new. So the cards are a little different. This is a 97 first editions as well, number two of 12 cars. And uh, you'll have to forgive me because I am going to go through these fairly quick just to try to get through them, but you can see the card backs are a little different. Um, maybe that was just a mix up or maybe one is, one is, um, a US card and the other one is not I'm not sure but there's those <clears throat> next up we've got some Dodges Mopar first up we've got 98 first edition 70 Roadrunner number 17 of 40 cars in the set Orange enamel, black stripes, chrome grille, black interior, sitting on the chrome five spokes. Released in 1998. Next up, we've got a duplicate. This is a 98 70 Roadrunner. Same wheel variation as the one before. There is two of those. 70 Roadrunners. Next up, we've got a couple of Dodge Sidewinders. Both appear to have the chrome five spokes, orange enamel, purple, uh, yeah, purple glass, I believe, on both of them. Number three of 45 cars in the set. released 1998 again those are first editions next up we've got the 70 Plymouth Barracuda collector number 523 the lime green paint 426 stick going down the side convertible tinted glass sitting on the chrome five spokes muscle car styling released in 1997 and next up this is the last batch for the Mopars these are Dodge pickups this is part of the race truck series this is number one of four cars has the number four on the side these would be good wheel donors it's got the Goodyear Eagles front and rear and actually no, they're all on the black seven spokes. I thought for a second it was a wheel variation, but it's not. Real racing look. 
the Dodge Ram 1500. Released in 1996, collector number 380. And as you can see, the card is not very good on this one. Look at the vein going down the center of it. This would be a good opener. And I, you know, I don't know, but something tells me that this might be fairly quick on the track. It's got some weight to it, not too heavy, but hmm. Give me any ideas, I might send one of these out. If there's any interest in those, be sure and reach out to me. So there's the Mopars. Not very many of them, but there is a few if you're interested. Be sure and drop a comment, get a hold of me. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. All right, next up, Collector 469. Got the gold metallic paint, beautiful paint, sitting on the chrome five spokes on all four corners. Sporty spoiler and T-tops. You got the fire chicken on the hood, the clear glass, beautiful, beautiful hot bird. The car is not the card is not perfect. But again, you know, these are 1996, so you know, 25 plus years old. It looks like a color or Sorry, a wheel variation. Look at that, sitting on the chrome laced wheels on all four corners. That beautiful, beautiful gold metallic paint. The sporty spoiler, the hot bird collector, 469. Released in 1996, a couple of fire chickens. These are, these are a Pontiac lot I'm put together here. This shout out to David Gibson. My apologies, I missed this one. This was, you said you were looking for funny cars. You're the funny car guy, officially. This is sitting on the chrome five spokes. It does raise up, it does have some weight to it. Number one of 12 cars, 1997 first edition, the Firebird funny car. David, if you see this, and you want this, I'm pretty sure you have this. Um, I've got it, and I know that if I've got it, chances are you probably got it too, but if for some reason you don't, reach out to me and I will make sure and get this to you. Again, my apologies, I missed it. Uh, you, I sent you some top fuel dragsters and said I didn't have any funny cars, and I ended up finding one, so my, my apologies to you. Next up, the 1980s Firebird collector number 462 beautiful beautiful blue metallic paint absolutely gorgeous got the Hot Wheels livery in the clear glass the chrome five spokes on all four corners authentic t-top released in 1996 and next up we've got the Pontiac Salsa collector number 596 sitting on the chrome seven spokes it is an orange color silver metallic details the windshield is even painted silver that's kind of weird black base the Pontiac Salsa released in 1996 and last but not least the in the Pontiac group collector number 457 it is the Pontiac Banshee bright yellow interior has the Hot Wheels logo on the clear glass black metallic paint chrome five spokes metal base the card is a little rough uh, be a good opener and it's based on the prototype most of these that you see like this with these here these are going to be probably about a dollar fifty these are openers so just keep that in mind collector number 457 released in 1996 and that, folks, is the Pontiac Group. If you see anything in there that you're interested in, please reach out to me, drop a comment, hit me up on Instagram. I'll be glad to work with you and get your info. Um, I'm accepting Venmo and PayPal. Again, I'm not trying to get rich off of this. I'm just helping my cousin's wife's son inherited all these. And he's like, I don't even want them. Can you get rid of them for me? And I was like, sure. And at the time, I really wasn't thinking of it, but I tell you, there's a lot of work involved, you know, communicating with everybody and getting, you know, 
payments figured out and what exactly they want and you know sending pictures and talking and so but it's fun but it can get uh you know a little hectic at times especially when you have a lot of people message you on i gotta remember you know did they was that message on instagram or was that on facebook or was that on youtube or so but anyways it's going well i've got some orders going out tomorrow and uh I'm just trying to help him out and he, you know, get him a little money to spend. He's a young, you know, he's 16, 17 years old. So he's got other things he wants to do with the money besides collect, you know, keep the Hot Wheels. Again, he inherited them. He didn't go out and buy any of these. He just, I think his uncle or something gave them to him and he doesn't want them. So I was like, I, I could probably help you get rid of them. So that's what I'm trying to do. So if you see anything here you like, be sure and reach out to me. Uh, stay tuned and I will be back. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and run this next group because it's small. These are the Buicks. This is the... Sorry about that, everybody. I didn't realize I only had five cars left. I might as well run them. These are the Buick Wildcat, collector 597. Bright, beautiful red. Dark, tinted glass. Sitting on the chrome. Seven spokes. Collector 597. Released in 1996. Next up, we've got a couple of Buick Stalkers. Clear glass, no tampo, black grill. And it the front of it almost reminds me of a, of a T-Bird for some reason. It doesn't remind me of a Buick, but hey, what do I know? The collector number 472. And this one is the same thing. Collector 472. Beautiful, beautiful yellow paint, chromes, five spokes. So there's the Buicks. And then we have two cars left. The Osmobile group here. Had some other Osmobiles, but they didn't last long. Okay. The old 442 W30. We all know what the 442 is, don't we, Pete? Collector number 267. New paint style. Sitting on the yellow paint, chrome five star, chrome five spokes, black stripe. This one is the same. Duplicates, collector number 267. Released 1992. So there's those. You see anything you're interested in? Let me know. And I will be back with the Chevys. Stay tuned. And we're back. And as you can see, I've got some beautiful, beautiful purple Corvettes in front of me here. Uh, we are going to start on the GM. Well, we have been doing the GM. I guess this is going to be the Chevy part of the GM. So first up, we've got a Blazer. 4x4, four four. looks like an S10 Blazer, off-road wheels and tires, collector number 258, released in 1993, got the red Hot Wheels flame logo and the blue glass, and it says Chevrolet there in the back. I'm going to do the trucks first and then next up we've got a 1500 Chevy Silverado 96 first editions number 2 of 12 premier collector's model with the black seven spokes on the front and the rear the Goodyear's wrapped all the way around and it is new folks collector number 367 Following the 1500, we've got the Surf Patrol. This reminds me of an S10. I'm not sure if this it's not labeled as an S10, but that's what it sure looks like to me. Sitting on the saw blades, on the off-road tires, on all four corners. Red interior, clear glass, metal base, collector number 102. Released in 1992. 
So that is all the trucks that we have in the Chevy group. Next up, got a Chevy Stalker done in white, faded to the gray, silver, number one on the side. Sitting on the chrome five spoke, stock car styling. Collector number 618-618. It's got all the tampos and racing stickers there on the front fender. Door. Huffman Racing. Tina. <laughs> Released in 1997. And following the Chevy Stalker, we've got a GM Ultralight, and it is not light, it's heavy. Collector number 594, coolest to collect, the GM Ultralight, released in 1996. It is a weird looking casting. If you're into the weird ones, this one's for you. The card is not in the best shape. This is probably going for $1.50. If you're interested, reach out to me. I've left my info in the video before this. So be sure and check that out. Alright, so, so we're going to save the Corvettes. Got a good group of Corvettes here. If there's any Corvette fans, you'll want to stay tuned for this. I'm going to do the Camaros. Shout out to Pete over at Old Man Diecast. If you have not checked out his channel, please do. Wonderful, wonderful guy. Very knowledgeable. Has some cool videos. Be sure and check out Old Man Diecast. First up, we've got the 95 model series Camaro convertible. Number eight of 12 cars. Beautiful red enamel. The yellow Hot Wheels flame logo on the rear quarter. Black interior, clear glass. Saw blades on all four corners. A Hot Wheels original. Released in 1995. Collector number 344. Next up, number 344, collector 344, sitting on the chrome five spokes. This is a wheel variation. The red enamel is the same as is the clear glass, the black interior. The Camaro convertible, collector 344, coolest to collect. This one was released in 1997. Up next, the Street Beast Series, number three of four cars, sitting on the gold saw blades front and rear. Looks like something ripping and shredding through the yellow enamel, metal base. It's probably a track burner right here, the blown Camaro. Collector 559-559, released in 1997. Here's a cool one. It's got the reflective blue tinted paint, the Hot Wheels livery, Chevy emblem on top, new racing medals series, the Camaro Racer, number three of four cars. New look. Sitting on the chrome five spokes. There's a plastic base. Still pretty cool reflective paint. I don't know if you can see that white interior it's got the roll bar the net the window net pretty cool casting there and next up the camaro z28 looks like maybe a 78 79 i don't know i could be wrong maybe an 80 sitting on the chrome five spokes collector number 449 Beautiful bright orange enamel, the Camaro Z28. 
released in 1992. And last but not least, in the Camaro group, sitting on the Ultra Hots, the Camaro Z28, if that doesn't say 80s, 90s, I don't know what does. Metal base, collector number 33, the card is not great. Released in 1991. It's probably an opener, but that is a cool looking car. All right, so we're going to move to the Corvettes, as you can see here in front of me. We've got three beautiful 95 model series, all blown. 58 Corvette coupes sitting on the chrome seven spokes. The paint is absolutely gorgeous. The camera doesn't do it justice. And I guess you could also use the exhaust and the engines for other customs and stuff. I didn't really think about that, but I guess you could. Number three of 12 cars. All in purple. And then next up, We've got three of these as well, the 58 Corvette Coupe, number three of 12 cars, so this is a color variation it looks like, the 95 series, model series, sitting on the chrome seven spokes, all three of them are, chrome interior, and those have chrome interior as well, and there's three of those. So if you like 58 Corvettes, there's a good group for you. Next up, we've got a custom Corvette sitting on the three spokes, gray interior, tinted window, livery on front and rear, confidential, Hot Wheels Secret Service, Black enamel, Spy Print Series, car number four of four cars, the custom Corvette, collector 556, released in 1997. And again, I apologize if I'm flying through these cars, but I don't want to spend too much time on each one of them, because if I do, it's going to take me days and days to get through them, so... I apologize. Bear with me. Next up, we've got the 80s Corvette. Collector number 616-616. This is probably an opener. I mean, the corners are shot. There's no doubt about it. Um, but I do like the chrome-laced wheels. The graphics on the side. The pearl white paint. Black interior. Clear glass. Pretty cool. Next up, we've got collector number 595. It's the Corvette Stingray 3, sitting on the three spokes, white interior, tinted glass, beautiful, beautiful metallic blue paint. Card is not terrible. It's pretty decent, actually. Coolest to collect. Collector 595. Corvette split window. Look at this beautiful turquoise paint sitting on the chrome five spokes. Plastic base. Split window. Clear glass. Pink. Pink red interior. I think it might be pink. Following that, we've got the custom Corvette, new sports car series, number two of four cars, sitting on the chrome seven spokes, front and rear. Beautiful, beautiful purple paint. I don't know about the tampo. It's, something, it's like a football, and they're drawing up a play. 
gray interior, Hot Wheels on the tinted glass. Yeah, it looks like a football field. There's a helmet. And a football. Some kind of sports car series. Collector 405. Released in 1996. The Corvette Coupe. Sitting on the five spokes. Chrome front and rear. Clear glass. Red interior. Look at this paint. Metallic. 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 Green, clear glass, new, collector 4, 99, released in 1996. Next up, you got the 97 Corvette. It's a 1997 first edition, 11 of 12 cars. Chrome laced wheels, front and rear, beautiful green paint, clear glass, peanut butter, tan interior. Details are done on the rear and the front. Beautiful, beautiful casting. If you like Corvettes and you like race team livery, this is the car for you. Look at the beautiful white interior. Clear glass, Hot Wheels livery on the hood and the sides. Got the number one in the back quarter. Chrome five spokes, metal base, Hot Wheels Corvette. Check that out. Pretty, pretty cool. Slick racing graphics. Right. Next up, we've got another 80s Corvette, a beautiful burgundy maroon paint, metallic, three spokes front and rear, clear glass, three spoke directionals, I guess I should say. White, gray, or I'm sorry, gray interior, clear glass. Collector number 503, the 80s Corvette. Released in 1996. And then last but not least in this group, we've got the pizza that looks like it's got pepperoni all over it, the Hot Wheels livery, the directional three spokes front and rear, tinted dark tinted glass blacked out pizza plastered paint job and you're just in luck because there's three of them so if you like this and this is the car for you there's three of these bad boys number one of four models in the series the pizza vet fast food series and that is it in this group I appreciate you all watching. If there's anything you're interested in, be sure and reach out to me. I will get it sent out as soon as possible. Thank you. See you in the next episode. There is more to come. I've got more groups to go through. We've got Ferraris. We've got Porsches, uh, BMWs, Mercedes. So if you're into any of that, stay tuned, and we will check them out. Until next time, this has been Live or Diecast. I'm out.